Hello, paper crafters. I'm back um, doing so-so after my surgery, but I thought I could make a quick video because I had some help from my friend Jenny Williams who made me some lovely samples. I'm going to show you the Heartfelt Creations Bella Rose dies and uh, rubber stamps I have for sale. And I'm going to go through quickly how you use these dies. And the first thing you do is you stamp your image on uh, some paper. I, this one I did with um, glitter. I embossed it with glitter and then I watercolored it with some Tombow markers. Nothing hard there, nothing spectacular. And then what you do is you put in your cuddle bug your A plate down, your C plate down, and then you take your die, and this is the die that matches the stamp, and you put uh, the cut side on the paper and you just attach it with some tape. That's going to make your hinge. And then you put your die down and then you run it through your machine. And if I can do this with my surgery, you guys can do it on your own because that's a little ouchy. Okay, and then what you get is this little, you pop out the center right here like that and this is kind of your guide and you can see here you'll kind of it's nice and secure in there you kind of pop out your guide and then you take your image that you made which I'm sure will be much lovelier than mine and what I've done is you line it up the best you can I kind of like that there we're going quickly here and you tape that on so that doesn't move. Put that back down, put the cut side again, run it through, and I like to run it through twice with this um, watercolor paper I'm using. It's very thick, so I just like to make sure I get a crisp cut with that. And then you remove it, and you remove your there's the, the scrap paper and here's my watercolored image which I lined up and you can see it came out cut very nicely. It's just awesome the way that works. And I have a few more to show you that I've already got set up. We'll go through it again. There's uh, more dies in the kit but I just did a few. There's a rose I did and you line up that rose as best you can. You would take more time with it than I am because after all you went through all that trouble of making that beautiful um, dye. You wouldn't rush it like I am here for purpose of showing you sake. Run it over and run it through and run it back and push your die through. Whoops, look at I messed up. I kind of rushed it like I said not to, but I did do this correctly this time here and I didn't tape it well and you can kind of see how that came out much nicer there. Um, and that's why it's important not to rush it because you'll do what I did and that's turn turn it off to the side. And let's do one more. Here's the image I watercolored and you take the thing and you line it up like so. And make sure you keep it lined up don't do what I just did on the last one there. Okay, I'm going to tape it. Still looks lined up to me. Oh, there we go. Push that through run it through, Oop. 
in a second. I don't want that cutting in my C plate. I want it cutting in my B plate. Oh, you guys can tell I'm tired, huh? Forgive me. And now we go this, and we run it through again. And pull it out. And much better. I did a much better job lining that one up for you. So there, you see how the process is done. It's, it, it is a real time saver for cutting and um, coloring and cutting. And you can even see those images were embossed and they still didn't crack or um, through the intensity of going through the machine, they, did, they still did very well. So the first thing.